Give me a second, y'all. I got people who are joining us. So I want people to come on. I want to share some stuff with y'all. It's not going to take long. <clears throat> it's not going to take long at all. Um, but I do, um, man, I do, I do got some stuff to say. Uh, okay. Let's see. Paste. I think I go on. Pin comment. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we're live on Facebook and we're live on Instagram. Okay, so there are a lot of people who reach out to me and they go, dude, how are you How are you doing all this stuff that you're doing? How are you doing this show? How are you surviving? There are people out there, and I, I know because they've talked to friends of mine, they think that I'm struggling, they think that I'm broke, they think that I'm desperate to get a job at a TV network, but they're wrong. I ain't close to broke. I'm not desperate for a network job. What I am building, or what I am building is a media company. What I need people to understand is our world has changed. Our world has changed in that the public has embraced direct supporting of content creators. Listen to me clearly. The public is now supporting us in a different way. The old model used to be you had to get a job at a television station a movie studio, a network, a record label in order to make a living. But now you can create your own YouTube channel. Now you can be on OnlyFans. Now you can be on Patreon. Now you can take advantage of Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, uh, all of these different ways for the public to be able to reach you. Now, here is the biggest obstacle to people doing that. It's the person who thinks it's cheesy to, quote, ask or beg for money. Now, I need you to listen to what I'm saying. <clears throat> Last year, this was like April. A brother I was talking to, a DJ not D-Nice, it's another DJ. We were talking, he was asking me about my show and what I'm doing and he was like, you know what I mean, you know, I I'm just, I don't, I don't know about, I don't know about, you know, you know, asking for money because, you know, it's a lot of people who out of work, you know, I'm, I'm just not, I, 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 it just sound, I mean, I'm uneasy. I said, I'm sorry. I said, first of all, you're out of work. There are no events. I said, you're the very person you're talking about. I said, but bruh, why are you acting like every single person out here is out of work? There are a lot of people who are still working. There are people who are still making money. I said, but most importantly, I said, you need to understand, you're not making anybody give you money. You're not making anybody send you money it's up to them i've had some people who have said to me on my instagram page uh, uh, uh why are you asking for this folk ain't got no money well if you ain't got no money that's you i said but the reality is i am a content producer if there's somebody who wants to bless me financially and they appreciate the content that i am producing then they will do so I said, I'm not forcing them to do anything. What I am doing is providing them an opportunity to support me in what I'm doing. And the brother was like, 
damn, man. He said, I ain't never had anybody explain it that way. I said, brother, you are a, you're a content producer. You are playing music that's making somebody feel good. They want to reward you for it. If they were paying $40 to get into a party, they would be doing the exact same thing. He said, damn, man, I never thought about it that way. I, I had as a sister, um, the Shade Room just dropped a video of this 50-year-old sister banging body. And they were like, yo, this is what 50 looks like. So this sister had 10,000 Instagram followers. She now has 50,000 Instagram followers. And so I went to her page and I said, you must, I said, I said, I bet you're real happy with all your followers. She's like, absolutely. And I said, I see you got a YouTube page. I said, baby, you ain't posted, you posted a video four months ago. I said, but before that, you ain't posted a video in three years. I said, what you gonna do? I said, what you gonna do now with all your new followers? She likes a good idea. I said, you should be leveraging your followers on Instagram and drive them over to a YouTube channel. I said, because you could, I said, if you hit a certain number of viewable hours and followers, then you will then, you can then enroll into the YouTube ad, ad revenue program. Now, why am I laying all of this out? I'm laying all of this out, folks, because we've got to stop being scared of what is new. We've got to stop being scared of new technology. We've got to stop being scared of what has been developed and then start thinking, oh, my God, you know, I don't know. What are people going to think about me? Let, 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 me, let me be as clear with y'all as possible. And, and I'll help y'all. If, if, if y'all are being blessed by this master class, it's 400 of you on Facebook. It's almost 300 of you on Instagram. Y'all can, the cash app, Venmo, Zelle, and PayPal is right there. I pinned it. Because here's the deal. Everybody else scared. Everybody else is scared to tell you this information. I'm not. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to liberate somebody right now. Let me say that again. I'm trying to liberate somebody right now. Um, some of y'all, and let me just go ahead and say this. Some of y'all. Okay, first of all, damn, I'm having some issues with Instagram and, and Wi-Fi. So just hold on. Let me, let me move my phone over. I'm trying to. I'm like in this corner, so, and so I want to make sure y'all get this in the, in my Facebook. Okay. I want to liberate y'all. Some of you are living by white validation. Let me unpack that. Some of you are living by validation period. You think you're not a, oh man, Instagram keeps, okay, y'all, the problem is I'm, I'm literally, okay, Instagram, hold on. I need to see what Wi-Fi network I'm on. Hold on, Instagram. Okay. Okay. I'm on the right, I'm on the right network, but it keeps pausing. Okay. Some of you believe that you're not a real author unless you get a book deal with a real publisher. Let me explain something to you. When you get an ISBN number and then you publish a book, whether it's through the Amazon self-printing program or some other ones, you are now an author. I've published five books. You can go to rollingsmartin.com and get my book, Speak Brother, Black Men's View of America. Actually, we're out of that one. You can get my book on the election of Barack Obama. I published that one. The photos in there, I shot the photos. I had it edited, I had it laid out, I had it printed. 
Y'all, I'm an author signing a book deal does not make me an author. That's me controlling and producing my content. So when I sell that book, that money comes to me. Y'all, that, that, that ain't no, that's the same. See, y'all got, you gotta, you gotta get out of your own way. I had a conversation tonight with a sister. I said, you need to call yourself a content creator on your Instagram page. You've got more than 500,000 followers. I said, you posting videos, you're posting photos of you in bathing suits and all kind of stuff like that for free. I said, put your cash up on there. Put your Venmo on there. Put your Zelle on there. Put your PayPal on there. I said, that's passive income. There are people who you don't even know. They may sit here and boom, drop you some dollars. I said, if you, I said, if they give you $50 in a week, that's 50, that's more, 50, 50 more dollars you had last week. Now, now listen to me how you begin to put this thing together. You got to understand where you make the money and where you don't make the money. Instagram, they just started allowing you to make money on Instagram. But more people really can make their money monetizing it on, on uh, YouTube. Now, somebody might say, Roland, why, why, don't you, why aren't you on Patreon? Because for me, Patreon, that's like I got to create additional content to satisfy the people on Patreon. I'm already producing content. So what I do is, it's about building your YouTube channel. What it also means is, you may say, well, I don't really know a lot of people. But do you know people with a following? So imagine if you send, I did this with uh, Renee Seiler. When she was building up her newsletter, Good Enough Mother. I said, Renee, I ain't going to always see your, your, uh, your, your, your post. Tag me in it on Twitter. I can easily retweet it. So she started tagging me every time. That's how she was able to build up her newsletter. She basically was drafting off of me. Avery Woodley. Sister, I told her December 9th, start your YouTube channel. She wanted to comment on a video of Kevin Samuels. I said, don't put that shit on Instagram. Put that on your YouTube channel. Put it on your YouTube channel. Drive your Instagram people to watch it on your YouTube channel. In three weeks, y'all, she had qualified with followers as well as viewable hours to enroll in the YouTube ad revenue program. What you have to do is get out of your own way i was reading the story today in the new york post and they always run these stories but the story was about a, a busty thick woman from poland who was a teacher who was told to cover up because of her large breasts she moves to the united states homegirl has made a million dollars a year on only fans now here's the whole deal i ain't telling nobody don't get on OnlyFans. I ain't telling people to get on OnlyFans. All I know is this here. Homegirl is making a million dollars a year on OnlyFans. There are some people who are OnlyFans who are not showing TNA. They just wearing sexy outfits. Guess what? It's people who are wearing sexy outfits for free on Instagram. Y'all ain't heard me. Y'all ain't heard me. We're now living in a world. We're now living in a world where the folk who are, the, 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 there's a kid on YouTube who does who just talks about toys. Y'all, he making eight million dollars a year. Eight million dollars a year. What you need to be doing is studying successful content creators. Y'all, Spike Lee crowdfunded, before it even had a name, he crowdfunded, she's gotta have it. 
essentially, if people are giving to you via Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, it's the same thing. That's crowdfunding. There is no difference. It's the exact same thing. What you have to do is stop thinking, oh, that, that, that's, you know, but that's, you know, that, that don't look so great. Yeah, I don't know why Instagram keeps pausing to reconnect. I don't know. So I don't, I'm not so hopefully it's, it, I see it's keep jumping. It keeps jumping. So, yes, y'all, this is live right now. It is 1158 p.m. on Sunday, May 2nd. I'm doing this live right now. I just wanted to hop on and share this with y'all. What I'm trying to do, trying to get you to do is get out of your own way. What I Yes, I'm going to say this live, y'all. What I'm trying to get you to do is to think differently about content. Nick Cannon said something. He said, I'm going to stop posting personal stuff on Instagram. He said, because they making money, I'm only going to post stuff that's going to make me money on Instagram. I said, Nick, that's exactly what, where you should be. Folks, you need to understand that when you're putting out these videos and you're putting out these photos, you're making somebody else money. You need to be thinking about how it frees you up. Y'all need to understand something. I am not trying. If a network call me right now, we could talk about a deal. But do y'all think I'm sitting around waiting for a network to call me? Hell no. The content that I'm producing, I own. I own. I can now take that. Let me give you an example. I did a, pan, I did a, uh, a deal with Jane Elliott. Jane Elliott and Roland Martin in Michigan. I think it was in 2015. We did the University of Michigan, Jane Illy and I. Y'all, I have, no, it was February 2017. I have restreamed that thing a number of times and it's generated more than two or three million. Yeah, I was actually typing. It's generated more than two or three million views. L listen to me, y'all. It wasn't a thousand people. It wasn't a thousand. Maybe it was a thousand, but it wasn't two thousand people in an auditorium. But it's generated more than two million views. Every time I do a panel, oh damn, Instagram just straight shut down. Wow, that was crazy. Okay, thank goodness I'm on Facebook. Um. Because we're going to save this video. Man. Wow. That just shut down. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Instagram was straight tripping. Um, Instagram is still tripping. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Instagram, y'all. I, I, I don't know what's going on. So. What, what, I'm, what, I, what I'm trying to get us to do. I'm trying to get us to think and move differently. Y'all, I don't, I don't know why Instagram, y'all, seriously, this is, I'm not playing music. I'm not doing anything. Instagram just continues to almost shut off. So Instagram people, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm trying to move, I'm trying to move the device, I'm trying to move the device, so I don't know what's going on, so Instagram, they ain't trying to let me teach y'all, so I don't know what's going on, okay, so I don't know what's going on, all right, so I'm going to do this here, okay, I'm going to go in my living room, where my other, where the router is, okay, so I'm now Insta Instagram keep tripping, Instagram keep tripping, they trying to shut this down because my router is literally right here. Okay. So let me do this right here. Y'all just hold on. I 
That's what happens when you got two phones, y'all. Okay. All right. So let me put that right there. Hold on, Facebook. Hold on, Facebook. Okay. I'm put this phone right here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, all right. So here's the deal. It's getting you to think differently and see the world differently. I see Lisa Fisher, the singer, uh, who's on my Instagram right now. Lisa, what's up? Love her. She's a fan of mine. And I, I love her work. The old model in music was the old model in music was the same thing. Wreck deal, sell albums, get paid. Mm -mm. Not, not now. Not now. You can go straight to the consumer. You can go straight. Erica Badu, what does she do um, during COVID? She, she put together and she made her own live stream. Folks were paying her directly for her work. Y'all, that's what I'm talking about. That's This is what you do. What I'm trying to get y'all to understand is that if you're in the arts world, you should be looking at yourself as a content creator. You should be saying, how can I take advantage of these social media platforms where I can actually drive my own revenue? And then I'm not sitting here beholden to someone else. I just read a deal where Dan Lebetard, Dan Lebetard left ESPN. They would not let him talk politics and some other things. So he left ESPN. He formed a company with his former boss at ESPN, John Skipper. And he just signed a three year, $50 million deal for DraftKings to be a sponsor of his show. DraftKings is not going to be the only sponsor of his show. Listen to me. They're not going to be the only sponsor. A three-year, $50 million deal. Y'all, he doesn't need ESPN. Dan Lebetard is going to make more money with his own company then he will then when he then when he was at ESPN. You hear me? Uh, Tom Kim, you can get off my uh, Facebook page or you're gonna get blocked with that nonsense. So what I'm trying to explain to y'all is Dan Lebatar's ego was not caught up in I'm on ESPN. I'm on ESPN. I'm on ESPN. See, when you get caught up in the ego. I forgot I had this light here. When you get caught up in the ego of, I'm on ESPN, I'm on ABC, I'm on NBC, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working for this website, that's where you make the mistake. See, the companies, they want to make money off of you. If a company is paying, if a company is paying somebody $3 million, I can guarantee you they're making a hundred million off that person. So the game is like, wait a minute, hold up. Why I got to keep working for y'all for three million? L look at uh, Bill Simmons. Bill Simmons built his brand working with ESPN, took that sucker, cut a deal with HBO. He eventually sold his um, uh, sold his stuff was to the Ringer. I think that's what it was. For 200 million. He wasn't going to make. Do y'all know how long it would have taken Bill Simmons to make 200 million dollars when he was at ESPN? So what I'm trying to get you to understand is you need to step back. You need to step back. And say, how can I generate revenue that's coming directly to me? Not a manager, not a business manager, not an agent. 
and a marketing person, you. The phones that I'm talking on right now, y'all, these phones shoot in 4K. I want y'all to, to, to anybody who's a budding content creator, I want you to listen to me right now, and I want you to go to Netflix. Listen to me right now, I want you to go to Netflix. And I want you to go to Netflix, and I want you to pull up the movie High Flying Bird, Netflix. I want you to pull up the movie High Flying Bird. Again, High Flying Bird, okay? Andre Holland is the star of High Flying Bird. Steven Soderbergh directed High Flying Bird. Why do I want you to watch High Flying Bird? It's because Steven Soderbergh directed the entire movie with an iPhone 7. I'm gonna let that sit in for a second. I'm gonna let that sit in for a second. I'm gonna let that sit in for a second. Steven Soderbergh shot the entire movie High Flying Bird with an iPhone 7. No, the movie was not a dud. No, it was not. Because in fact, anybody who's sitting here, whoever you are saying High Flying Bird was a dud, that tells me right there that you didn't actually watch the movie. And you didn't even understand what the movie was about. Because the movie... High Flying Bird is exactly what I'm talking about right now. The basis of the movie was how these basketball players were on strike and they, he was working with them and they threatened to do their own three on three game, three on three games. And it was blowing up all over social media. And the league freaked out because the streaming services started calling the agents and were like, oh, damn. These cats may up in our entire system. They may make the money direct and bypass the league and the team. So whoever called High Flying Bird a, a dud, see, that's your problem. You are watching the movie for the wrong reason. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I don't watch High Flying Bird for the purpose of I'm watching an Oscar caliber movie. I, I, it's on right now, y'all. It's on right now. I watch High Flying Bird because I'm looking at how he used the camera, how the camera was set low, set high. I'm looking at how he moved with the camera. I'm looking at how he used the camera. If Steven Soderbergh can shoot an entire movie with the iPhone 7. Y'all, what's in your hand right now is the same thing. I'm trying to get you to understand. Y'all, Google stories on Steven Soderbergh. And how he shot this movie. And how he shot it in his favorite light was like a, I think they said it was a, 
8 by 12 or 12 by 12 or 10 by 10 light panel. I, I can't remember what it was. But they said basically he shot nearly every scene with basically that light panel. He wasn't using a whole bunch of all kinds of stuff. So I'm, I'm laying all this stuff. He used two iPhones, y'all. He used two. Google it. Okay. See, you got stupid people want to come on here on Instagram. But it's all good. I'm going to block their dumb asses. So what I'm trying, so what I'm trying to get y'all to understand is stop getting caught up. I got to go get this. I got to go with that. I got to go with this. I spend a lot of my time, a lot of my time um, reading these stories, studying, looking at how these things are done, how you can take. Um, how you can take a smooth and now all of a sudden I get this, I get, I get, I get the moves and I, I can sit here uh, and I can move. I'm telling y'all, you have, you have to do this differently. You got to use this differently. You talk about streaming. You got Ecamm. You got StreamYard. You got all these different things out here. What you need to be doing, folks, is stop living in the 20th century and the 19th century. What you need to do is be living in the 21st century. That's what you need to do. I watch High Flying Bird at least once every three months. And when I'm watching it, I'm watching how he used the camera and how it was done. And I then take the gear that we have, and I've got three Canon C300s, three Canon XF4 or 5 4K cameras. I've got three Canon XA25 cameras. I've got a GoPro 6, a GoPro, a GoPro 7. I've got the GoPro 360 degree camera. I am constantly thinking. Today, I went and played, um, today, I went and played, uh, I hit some golf balls. And I brought one of my, um, I brought one of my, uh, my, my drone. I brought my, um, my, uh, my, uh, the, the Mavic, the Mavic 2, Mavic Mini. And I brought it out there and I played some different shots. Y'all, the Mavic Mini drone is like $299, $399. You're content creator. Buy that Mavic Mini. Now, granted, if it's a lot of windy day, it's going to be a problem. But for the most part, if it's not, it's good. You can now spend $299, $399. Now you can in integrate drone shots into your content, y'all. What I'm simply saying is you need to be thinking differently. Stop thinking like you're going to be your mama and daddy told you, baby, just go get you a good job. No. Stop it. Stop it now. If you're trying to reach me, send me a DM or send me an email, rolling at rollingatsmartin.com. Stop being a fucking employee and think like an employer. Stop talking about getting a check and start thinking about writing checks folks this requires a paradigm shift this requires us to see things differently this is what it requires I need you to stop just posting stuff for free and it's earning you nothing utilize cash app venmo zale paypal use what is at your disposal and change the game i will never go hungry i will never just give away my content for free. 
Never. It's because I'm a student. Yes. Download the app Fanbase. It's F-A-N-B-A-S-E. Download the app. You can create content on Fanbase and get paid for it as well. My email is Roland at RolandSMartin.com. What I'm trying to get you to understand, folks, is too many of us have been trained and conditioned that we need validation, that we need to get paid by others, and then we need people to say, oh my God, that's great. Let me explain something to y'all. I cannot deposit, man, you doing a good job. That pays no bills. So I don't worry about that. Take advantage of new technology. Take advantage of new technology. Start operating a new paradigm. And watch your world shift. And you're going to say, why in the hell was I not thinking about this earlier? So real quick, download the app Fanbase. F-A-N-B-A-S-E. Download it now. Second, go watch the movie High Flying Bird on Netflix. It's only available on Netflix. Steven Soderbergh shot that entire movie on an iPhone 7. I want you to watch it how he shot it. But I want you to watch again I want you to watch them for the content because what they were trying, what they were creating in the, in the, the, the movie is about, it's about actually owning your own content and cutting your own deals and cutting out the middleman. Third, create your YouTube channel and begin to post videos on a regular basis. Share them with friends of yours and have them also share your information in order to build up your subscriber count and to build up your video views. If this has benefited you, it's 300 of you right now, um, and it's 570 on, on Facebook. If you benefited from this, hey, support right there. Cash app is dollar sign RM unfiltered. Venmo is RM unfiltered. Zale, rolling at RolandSMartin.com or Roland at RolandMartinUnfiltered.com My PayPal is PayPal.me forward slash RMartinUnfiltered Those are all ways you can support what I do. You gotta remember Issa Rae Issa Rae actually had a web series before Insecure. Some of y'all going to see, stop focusing on Issa Rae and Insecure. What did she do before? Before she got there. Y'all, this is an opportunity. There are no gatekeepers. Don't let anybody stop you from doing what I'm talking about. Nobody. I'm not doing it. The drone is the, uh, is the Mavic Mini. It's lightweight. It can fit in the palm of your hand. It's easy. That's the one you want to get. I got the Mavic Pro 2. It's a lot heavier. It's much better in windy conditions. But get the lightweight one. Drop it right in your bag. You're all good. Okay? I just want to go ahead uh, and drop that down to y'all. So, um, look, I hope y'all enjoy this. I hate the first Instagram just shut down. Uh, Facebook didn't. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get with my guy, Keenan. We're going to grab the Facebook video. and We're going to post that. Uh, on uh, on YouTube uh, so people can see it. And we're going to also repost it uh, on our, um, repost it on our um, YouTube channel as well. So again, uh, man, y'all, thanks a lot. This was just an impromptu masterclass. Uh, I was talking to a homegirl of mine early, uh, early tonight, encouraging her. And I was talking to another sister on Instagram uh, earlier. And I was like, yo, you know what? Let me just go ahead and just do this video. Uh, I see you, Tyler. Uh, let me just do this video to help 
you know, like I say, I was talking to them directly. I said, man, I could help a lot more people than just them. And so I just want to go ahead uh, and, and bless y'all with this. Uh, good luck with it. If you got any questions, uh, hit me up. You got the email. Um, you got questions about gear, whatever. You know, I post those things as well. Um, you know, Roger, car didn't damage the drone. Uh, so all those things, uh, you know, I'm all, I'm always about helping people. Look, y'all, I, I, I've been a guinea, guinea pig. I, I've, 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 I've tested a lot of equipment. I've had stuff that failed. Uh, no need for y'all to go through a lot of that sort of stuff. Uh, I've done all those things. Uh, and so I can save you uh, time, uh, go to my Instagram channel. Y'all see me. I, I posted things about portable green screens and lights and stuff along those lines, you know, um, you name it. Uh, I'm going to do this here. I'm, this last one, let me go get it. It's going to be the last thing I'm going to give y'all because people ask me a lot, you know, how do I play my music? Um, 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 uh, and remember, I'm going to do, I'm going to do that later. I'm going to shoot that video and I'm going to post it because I got to show you some different stuff. Uh, but again, folks, uh, go download the app Fanbase and follow me on Fanbase, okay? Download the app on Fanbase, follow me on Fanbase, go see the movie High Flying Bird on Netflix. Uh, totally shot with the iPhone 7. Uh, look, go, go read up on Steven Soderbergh shooting. I love the ATM minis. Uh, um, Steven Soderbergh, go, go read about him shooting these movies on iPhones. Uh, Soderbergh, S O D E R B E R G H. I think that's what it is. So that's it, y'all. I'm about to go watch the equalizer uh, with uh, with the wife. So y'all take care, uh, be well, get good luck. All right, peace out.